November is usually a busy month, with most people running around, getting ready for Thanksgiving, and shopping for gifts. One thing that normally gets put on the back burner is your exercise program. Don't I know it. Our next guest, Melanie Marchand of Sisters in Shape, is here to show us how we can get in our exercise, even if our schedule is tight and we're getting pulled in all kinds of different oh, directions. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Melanie, what can we do? We've got the... We have to carpool, we have to get gifts, we have to get groceries. It just seems like there's no time in the day to actually exercise. That's true. It seems like it, but there are creative things you can do. Let's say you're in a line. There are lots of lines during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Well, you can do an exercise called calf raises. Oh. Just by I shouldn't have these lifting on. your heels up, lifting your heels up and down. And that does more than just uh, strengthen your calf muscle. It also promotes balance. It makes you think about your core and engage it so that you can stabilize. Might you I just... say you have the hardest body I've ever seen oh. in my life? <laughs> 20 I years. feel sick standing next to you right now. Okay, so Cindy, I'll... you look good. No, <laughs> I'm holding it in, babe. Oh. <laughs> okay, continue. All right, so we've done that in line. Yes. Good for the balance, good for the... Good for the ankles. Good for the ankles. Good for the feet. Good for the calves. Yes. Good for the feet. Yes. All right. Let's do one that people can do together. Partners. Okay. Either standing or sitting. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to sit, stand? Um, either one, whatever you choose. Okay. I like to sit. Okay. Usually that's what I prefer. <laughs> so the person that's exercising with you has to stand opposite you, mm -hmm. and then you have to resist. So when I push, you let your arms move, but not too fast. Okay. In a controlled manner. Okay. Now, when you push against me, I'm going to also let you push me, but you're getting work, and so am I. For the chest muscle. And what am I? Yeah, this is my chest muscle. Yeah, what chest and triceps. My, my partner, my, my kids. Yeah, absolutely. You just if have I to counterbalance, kids. use the right forces. Hmm. And that doesn't take... Uh, now, how long do you have to do this to get some kind of benefit? If you do three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions, you could get some benefit. Don't you feel it? Mm-hmm. You ready to go to the back? Sure am. Okay. <laughs> so you go to the opposite muscle group, mm -hmm. and you lift your elbows up to shoulder height, okay? Now this time, you're gonna bring your elbows towards me by you moving your shoulder blades together. And I'm gonna resist that movement, and that resistance gives you strength training. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, you're working your upper back. I and then am. I push and you resist. Mm -hmm. And you have to keep your shoulders down and keep your abs contracted. Do you feel that your abdominal muscles are also <laughs> working to keep you stable? I do now. Now that you've taken, brought them to my attention, I'm trying one to keep time. my tummy in. <laughs> okay, now the next one we're gonna do is for the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And you keep, bring your arms down to the side. The person stands behind you mm -hmm. and puts their hands on your arms and you lift to shoulder height. Ugh. And then I push and you resist. So you're working not only on the way up, but also on the way down. Oh, you yeah, feel I that? Oh, I can. That's a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot of work. Uh -huh. I don't need a machine that you don't. costs a lot of money. You really don't. You just need I a just person. need Melanie to come over. <laughs> I'll come over. Every day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh huh. What about people who exercise in spurts? With, um, you know, when they've got, they find themselves, they've got five minutes and say maybe they're, they're watching TV or something, but they want to exercise at the same time. How about time. this? Okay. Bring your leg. Extend your leg. Mm -hmm. Bring it straight out. Extend and bend. So if you don't have, <laughs> well, here, here's some beans. Now, but if you have ankle weights, mm -hmm. they work. Or you can strap these on and bring okay. your leg down and extend, and bring it down. And this works the quadricep muscle. How about that? That's good, because then you don't feel so guilty when you're sitting there. Say yeah. when you do have a little downtime, yeah. and you just want to relax and be a couch potato. But you, you And know. you know what? Even if you didn't have an ankle weight, you could feel that oh, if you yeah. do enough repetitions. Sure can. And of course, I guess you can always be working your tummy, no you matter can. where you are, if you're driving or if you're sitting on the couch. Like, yes. I find myself doing a lot of that lately. And you know what? You can do some abs while you sit there. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the sides of the chair okay. and lift both knees at, at the same time, keeping everything erect. But keep your legs bent. Oh. And then lift your oh, knees. Lift. Up and release. <laughs> up and <laughs> yeah. release. Up oh. and release. Oh, Melanie. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. a lot of work. You bet it is. <laughs> and you have to keep the muscles engaged and you have to keep your, ba your body nice and tall. And you lift, absolutely. That's a good workout. It's a good workout oh. for the transverse abdominal muscles. Oh. Surprised? Oh. Uh, yeah, very surprised. You must hear a lot of, from people who, who just let their whole routine go right down the toilet this time of year. Yes, I mean, and, and I'm guilty too, because there was one time when, for Thanksgiving, I cooked, and for four days, oh I ate Thanksgiving food, and I barely moved. Yeah. And I was miserable. <laughs> 
So I learned from my own experience that that's not a good thing to do because it doesn't feel good. So how are you going to do things differently this year? Well, because first, we all have a tendency to have our eyes bigger than our stomachs. And it's yeah. just such good food, too. It's such good food. It's delicious. But you know what? This is what I do now. First, I keep moving. You mm -hmm. have to keep moving during the holidays because it's easy to just sit when you're not running errands. So exercising, keeping exercise in your life. I, I will walk. I will um, run if I feel like it. Um, I'll eat the Thanksgiving food only on Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. Let that be my reward day. And then after that, I'll eat the turkey, I'll eat the cranberry sauce, and I'll eat the, the greens or the spinach. And there's usually no stuffing left over anyway, right? And if there is, I don't touch it. Where does it go? Just throw it out? Well, no, everybody else will take care of that. <laughs> everybody else in my family takes care of the rest. Right, but you are disciplined. I, I, yeah, because I don't want to struggle when I get back to my normal routine. It's a struggle when you abandon your program. I always try to encourage my clients, don't abandon your program. Don't abandon it during the holidays. Keep moving. Mm. Yes, reward yourself, but um, think about the repercussions are the ramifications of not moving. I think people, when people look at you, they think, well, she has nothing to worry about. I do. You I, didn't get this way. Overnight. Overnight, and you certainly still have to work at it. You I just do. don't keep that body automatically. No, you Every don't. day you work out, right? Every day. Well, I take off two days a week mm -hmm. because it's important to let the body heal and rest so that it's ready for the next five days of working out. Hmm. But okay. no, you have to keep going. And, and if you don't, it's, you're always going to go through that soreness that you get when you first start after months of not doing something. And who wants that? It discourages you. And a good family activity maybe after you scarf down pounds upon pounds of food for Thanksgiving. Why doesn't everybody just go for a walk together? That's Absolutely. nice. Rather than parking in front of the TV and nobody talking, it would kind of go be nice to go out and all walk together. And how about this? How about jump rope? Hey, that's jump easy. Rope. Yeah, it is easy. And everybody can do that. Everybody we haven't forgotten how to do that. And isn't that one of the best workouts in, it in the is. world? It is. It's, it's like five, it's, for five minutes, you can get a serious workout. Okay. Five minutes. Five hey, minutes. That's of what jump we rope. like to hear. That's a challenge. <laughs> it is. Yes. Thank you, Melanie. You're yeah, welcome. it sounds easy, but it's not. If it's you not. would like to contact Melanie, you can reach her at Sisters in Shape on the internet. That's www.sistersinshape.com.